My name is Pam Gleave, and I'm an artist and a photographer. I will be here at Arcadia Brewing Company May 15th uh, between the hours of 5 and 9 p.m. This is my first year of showing in Spring of the Arts. I graduated from Olivet College. While I was there, uh, we got a new director of the chemistry program, and uh, she and I were talking in her office one day, and uh, I had remembered seeing uh, some really beautiful pictures that, was, that were taken through the microscope. And I asked her about it, and she said, yeah, we can do that. So we um, embarked on a probably two-year-long uh, project because it was so uh, trial and error and, and uh, a lot of failures and like that. But uh, she chose the chemicals, and uh, she chose them for how they would melt and recrystallize. When they, they cooled, they just recrystallized again into these beautiful shapes. We put them under the microscope and, and uh, photographed them, and I was just astounded by the shapes and the colors. I mean, I never know, and I don't have any control over what's going to show up in the microscope. Pretty much they're as they are. I don't alter them on the computer at all. They are simply photographs, straightforward photographs, not computer generated and not altered in any way. The whole process takes just a few minutes to get the slide made and sometimes some slides have to cure. Some of them I get the best shots in the beginning when they're still just drying and some of them I've had great pictures come out of them that were a couple months old that weren't there in the beginning. I do a lot of the chemicals that just don't relate. I mean I could tell you one of them is orthoamino biphenyl and that's, that's my best slide ever. I've gotten so many pictures off from that, but it absolutely, the chemical absolutely has nothing to do with anything, you know, I just, uh, that's all. We have, we have themes that we do. I did some kitchen things like uh, vanilla, cinnamon, cream of tartar, and um, then we got the bright idea to do beer. So I came down here to Arcadia, and they were kind enough to give me samples of each one of their specialty beers. And I took those home, and this, that's what you see back here. Um, they came out really well, too. We were, I was kind of surprised and <laughs> amazed. I yeah, always am. But the colors are just, they're just astounding. They just are unearthly, enchanting. I've watched people look at it, and it's very interesting because they just kind of go away. You know, they're off in this land that doesn't really exist, but is very attractive. Everybody wants to orient them differently. Everyone sees things that are different in them. And I'll think that I've got one that I really like, right there, just nice and straight up, and somebody will want, invariably want to tip it over, and then I'll see something brand new in it, and, and you can just get kind of lost in them. People react to it in, a, in an emotional and intuitive way which is very pleasant for them, you know. And what I would like to see them go away with is that you can find beauty in the oddest places, in the most unusual places, in the places that you would never think to look. <laughs>